All right, so it's actually been a month since we've done one of these. I know. It's crazy. That is. We don't have to make the – didn't we just do one of these joke at the Indeed. beginning? Indeed. Now it feels like it's been forever. It does, really. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the kickoff match, I guess we'll start with. Yeah, Even though it's not at the bottom of the list. Eh. But I'd assume it'd be first. Eh. I mean, and it's a match I couldn't care less about. Uh, you could care less about. No, I couldn't actually. So, so you really want to watch this match? No, I couldn't care less any. I couldn't care any less about it. You have the saying backwards. No, you heard the saying backwards. No, if if you could care less, that means you still care about it. But you could care because you could care less. Oh yeah, no, no, no. wait. I'm right. No, you're right. You're right. You're yes, right. exactly. Sorry. Edit that part. Don't out. don't try to out start over. Me with... <laughs> start over. No, it's yes. going. No. Damn it. Your stupidity is gonna be in. Oh god damn it. But no, I'm just thinking of... like the fat the fat that is our pay per view prediction videos. <laughs> oh anyway. no. So yeah, it's uh, the Intercontinental Champion Biggie Langston taking on. That's not the kickoff match. God. Damn. Okay, fine. You want to talk about the? We're talking about the kickoff match. Okay, can we seriously please start over? No, please. It's not a. It's not allowed. Please. But but the Miz will answer for his actions when he faces the Boom Squad general. <laughs> <laughs> don't you read the blur? <laughs> don't you want to see the Boom Squad Squad general in action? No, I want to see the Wildcat. Well, this isn't him anymore. He's not the Boom Squad general. Okay. <laughs> so. So I don't care. <laughs> so Miz turned heel again, I think. Good? I think. I, 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 is he no longer Ric Flair's best friend? I, I don't... Well, maybe he's even more of Ric Flair's best friend now. He's he's the assholiest player in the game. Yeah. Um. So my long-standing dislike of Miz, notwithstanding... So, so, I, so I think they might be fighting for who truly is the face of the kickoff match, though. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, this is essentially their roles, isn't it? Yeah, these two are always in the kickoff match. You gotta find I, out who is the true kickoff. Kofi Kingston, I guess, is who I'm gonna go with. I don't really care. I'm just gonna go with The Miz. Okay. Because I don't like Kofi Kingston. I don't hate Kofi Kingston. Like, in the ring, I think he's great. It's his personality. There is none. Yeah, there isn't at all. At least Miz has one. Like, if you remember uh, from when we did that WWE 2K13 uh, story time, where the Nexus took over... Um, sure, I think I do. Yeah, like, I did not, I I tried my best to give, like, a not-anything voice, which is what Kofi Kingston's voice is. Yeah, it is. Anyway, let's just move on from this match. Yeah, it's boring. there's nothing to talk about. Not really. So, next up, though. On to the match I was uh, actually going to be talking about, as I burp. The newly crowned Intercontinental Champion, Big E Langston, is taking on Curtis Axel, who gets a rematch, apparently. Biggie Langston wins. I I really hope so. We hope and pray. If somehow he does it, I am going to be truly upset. If if Curtis Axel somehow manages to win back the Intercontinental Championship, I will find a way. I will find out where Mr. Perfect is buried. I will open the casket and I will slap his face. Well, m- maybe that'll get a little bit of uh, charisma out of uh, Curtis Axel. How would that give him charisma? Me slapping because, his dead well, dad. <laughs> he'll he'll be upset that somebody did that to his Somebody father. slapped his yes. dead dad? Yes. He'll be upset, and maybe it'll get him worked up. I but it's it. but it's Curtis Axel, so it probably won't. Do you know what a cabal is? I looked it up, it's a flute. Oh. Flute. I didn't know that. Why the hell would you make a promo like that? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's Curtis Axel. What what else do you expect? Yeah. He spent five minutes trying to figure out how to say the genesis of McGillicuddy, so. Oh, my God. Right, anyway, moving on to the next How do you match. still remember these horrible things? Because. Okay. Well, this match is damn stupid. <laughs> well, you don't, makes... want to, you don't want to see the Tonal Divas take on the Divas? Okay, here's the reason that, that this is really stupid. Okay, you got freaking AJ teaming up 
with Caitlyn. And if I remembered correctly, didn't AJ and Caitlyn, like, want to kill each other? Yes, and all the other divas actually, I thought, turned on AJ, too. Exactly. Like Now she's teaming up with them. Except for, like, Tamina. Like, you know, yeah, I know well, she... except for her, but I'm pretty sure all the other ones, like, turned on her, too. And which which side is the face, divas? I think it's supposed to be the total divas. But they if got, I had to guess. But they have, like, heels. Well, they both have heels. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to... Like, last I checked, Rosa Mendez, who hasn't been on television in, like, what, eight years? Well, she was on on Monday during the musical chairs segment. I meant before <laughs> I cared. Do you ever get you cared at one point? I haven't watched Ron forever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you cared at one point about Rosa Mendez? No. I'm sure there was some point where I did. Oh. I just don't remember. Anyway... I don't care about this match. If I have to pick one, I'm going to pick the the quote-unquote real Divas. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick AJ's team. Not Total Divas, even though that's a good show. Yeah. I, I refuse to watch it. Why? It's good. Watch it. Well, okay. We'll be the, entertained. Okay, well, beyond the many reasons why I don't watch Raw, it kind of falls in that kind of suit. It's just kind of like, I don't personally too much care uh, to watch WWE programming at the moment. Um, that or I just don't have time. Or a DVR. Uh, and the part is, and the thing is, is like I don't want to watch Total Divas just because, it's, as far as I know, which granted isn't not much, it's just like bickering. And being like, ooh, look at him. Ooh, he good. <laughs> yeah, he good. I haven't seen that episode yet. I don't, I don't know. But that sounds like a good episode. I hope you're right about that episode. It probably doesn't exist. <laughs> oh. Well, the, you know, like, isn't there, like, some sort of relationship angle between, like, one of the Funkadactyls and one of the Usos? Uh, well, it's not, like, an angle, per se, because they actually are... Okay, well, isn't there no. some sort of thing going on between them? <laughs> yes, there is. Just let okay. me talk in wrestling terms, damn it. I'm talking about wrestling. Yeah, but when it's not an angle, because it's a real thing. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, like, you know, like that sort of stuff. Like, just mostly relationship stuff. and Kind of, yeah. Bickering. But it's good. Okay, fine, whatever. It, it is. So on to another Survivor Series match that oh. I actually kind of, sort of, care about. I care about this one. I think it'll be real good, actually. Uh, the Rhodes Brothers, the Usos, and Rey Mysterio... Okay, are taking on the Shield and the Real Americans again. K okay. in a traditional Survivor Series elimination tag team match. Uh, the bits and pieces in this are pretty good. I think it'll be good. I mean, I like the Usos. Yeah. I, I like Cody Rhodes and I like Goldust. I, I like, I like all three. Cesaro. I like all three members of the Shield, and I like Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger is all right. Yeah. So, so so we can heartily say that we like eight out of ten of these guys. Yeah. Uh, so. So I mean that's that that's a good thing. That's good. So I think this would be a good match. Like for the most part, WWE like I have heard that their tag team matches are actually really good. So. They, they have been actually. They're like six man tags, which have they've had like every single week since the Shield has debuted, and they've been great. So. Okay. Well. That gives me something. To and up. I can imagine that this one will be just as good, if not better, than the ones on Raw, since it's on a pay per view and it's an elimination, so it'll be longer. Yeah. Probably. Um, Still, I, I don't know who I'd see winning this one, though. Yeah, that, that's that's a little bit tough. You see, there's the part of me that says it should be the tag team champions team winning, but I don't know if I can truly say that. Rey Mysterio just, uh, well, I mean, they have Rey Mysterio who just returned, so chances are their team will win. Probably, yeah, but... But I'd like to see the other team win, since they have, you know, the challengers for the tag team titles on that team, so it would make right. them look, you know... They, they have more of the people that I care about. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't, I don't know, like, I'll go ahead and say it's probably going to be, uh, Rhodes, uh, 
the Rhodes Brothers team, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was uh, the Shield team. Uh, I think it's actually going to be the Shield and um, Real Americans. Huh. Are you just saying that so that way you have some sort of dissension? Oh, or? Nope, I'm saying that because that's who I think is going to win. Okay. Possibly right. because setting up for a match at TLC between some of these teams, hopefully. Right. That'd be, you know, actually maybe a TLC four team match. That would be pretty good. Yeah. But we yeah, haven't actually. we haven't seen one of those in forever. Uh yeah. And to be fair, I I don't really know how well uh the WWE's current roster is up to doing like really high spot matches. Like, I think um Seth and Roman would be okay in it. Dean Ambrose too. Well, of course, Dean Ambrose yeah. would be fine. Well, Seth Rollins, I know, is. I mean, he took a great spot at last year's TLC. Yeah. So, that and also, actually, a lot of them, so a lot of great spots there. Well, that and also, you know, doesn't he... Didn't he used to do, like, a... I want to say... It was either a 450 or a shooting star. Um, Because that's, like, what every indie guy did. Yeah, well, yes. He probably did both. Probably, yeah. Um... Like he has like the aptitude to be able to fly. Yeah. Actually, doesn't uh, doesn't Seth Rollins have like a high uh, top row finisher? Um, I don't. But, he doesn't actually. Uh, I thought when he debuted, he did. At, when he debuted, he did like the uh, blackout using like the his using the ropes like a springboard move doing the blackout that is actually just a stomp to the head that he does in NX that he did in NXT. Oh, okay. It I was guess. more of a top rope version of it, but he stopped really doing that. And just upgraded to, or downgraded to a knee, eh. and now he. Do, I don't even know what his finisher is now. Uh, well, if WWE 2K14 is anything to go off of, it's an aside move, uh, DDT. Well, that's probably what he did stuff like that in NXT. But him in WWE, what his finisher is that? Yeah, NXT or the indie scene, probably. Yeah, because I know with 2K they like or with you because they like to throw in that sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely, but um, but more like. Back to the point of, like, if they were to do, like, a four-way tag team match, uh, TLC. The one team, I, as far as, like, these four that I see in front of me, I think the one team that would, might struggle with that actually would be Cesaro and uh, Jack, because... I, I don't know. Not so much maybe from uh, Cesaro's perspective, because he does have a little bit of flight ability, and I do think that he could take a nice bump. Well, you don't even need the flight ability just to be in a TLC match as long as you're willing to take some sort of high-risk maneuvers, which and, I'm and sure Cesaro is willing to do that. Yeah, I know Cesaro's willing to do that. It's Jack that I'm just He ha- He has been in a Money in the Bank, or a few of them in the past. Right, but has he ever... I don't think he... he's ever taken any big risks or spots in them, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that would be the one thing. And I'm not sure if Goldust would be too willing to do it either. It is. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. He, just like a couple of weeks ago, he took a spear from Roman Reigns through the barricade. So I mean, okay. that's a pretty good spot right there. So I'm sure that's he'd be cool. willing to fall through a couple of tables. Mm-hmm. Padded barrier versus you know, tables. Yeah, but uh, tables break the fall. So anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, back to the match at hand. Back to back to the to matches. Yeah, I'm definitely think- gonna say that the. Uh, Shield and Real Americans will win this one. I, th- I think it'll be Rhodes, Usos, and Mysterio. Well, we'll have to see. I, well, I could see them winning, but just because of the, the returning Rey Mysterio, but and, and that's more I sure so hope not. Kind of my thinking of it is just because Mysterio's coming back and Mysterio's such a big draw, but chances are he's probably going to rip his knee up again. <laughs> um, so we won't see him again for another three months. Uh, <laughs> or Or longer. Or longer. Or forever. Or forever. Uh, the next match is... I, I, this makes me sad. Why does uh, it make you sad? Well, uh, it makes me sad just because it's like CM Punk and Daniel Bryan have been, like, downgraded. No, they haven't. God, to me, it kind of feels like it. Not everybody can be in the main event scene, plus the are bringing up future stars, which I understand that people complain that they don't do, and then when they start doing it, they say that the guys are getting uh, buried and de-pushed, which isn't no, true. No, I don't think they're getting buried and de-buried, uh, and de-pushed. <laughs> buried and de-buried at the de-buried. same time. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I mean, they're two of the most over guys on the roster right now, so I mean... Right. 
Oh, We're yeah, having it. them work with Eric Rowan and Luke Harper as well as Bray Wyatt. We'll get those guys over. Maybe it's more so just because they're working with Eric Rowan. I, I don't know. I've just... <laughs> yeah, er- Eric I, I don't Rowan. have any attention to... I don't, I don't have any attachment to Eric Rowan. Like, Luke Harper, you know. I like Luke Harper. I, I, li- I really like Luke Harper, and I like Bray Wyatt Especially a lot. Especially Luke Harper for his size. He's really, really good. Especially. Eric Rowan, however... Eric Rowan, eh. I haven't seen anything out of him. I mean... He's not horrible. Well, he's not horrible, but I mean, I haven't seen anything impressive out of him either. Maybe this match will pull something out impressive. Maybe. We'll see. But I'm uh, sure it'll be a good match either way. Anyway, to, for- to formally introduce it, it's CM Punk and Daniel Bryan taking on Eric Rowan and Luke Harper of the Wyatt family. Uh... I... <sighs> I know CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, if they don't win this, I'll be surprised. To be honest with you, actually, I kind of see more so the Wyatt family winning. They could with shenanigans. Exactly. With Bray Wyatt shenanigans and with, lights with Bray going Wyatt. out shenanigans and with Bray Wyatt shenanigans. Yes. That's not possible. clean. No way they're going to win clean. That is literally that is literally going to be impossible. Um, yeah. I mean, I understand that they want to, you know, elevate talents and all that, but for them to win clean, that would just be too much. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I think I'll I think I'll go with the Wyatt family. Through I'm shenanigans. gonna go with CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, unless there's Bray Wyatt shenanigans. Yeah, there's probably gonna be Bray Wyatt shenanigans. <laughs> there probably will be Bray Wyatt shenanigans, but I'll still uh, go with Punk and Bryan though. Yeah. I mean, you know, not much to talk about there except you know, I don't know. I'm for for me, like as far as like kind of it making me sad. It wasn't so much that CM Punk is involved in it. Like, I could deal with it if it was, like, one guy. It's that it's CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. It's just kind of like you're taking two big guys. Not necessarily taking them out of the title picture. Like, I don't really feel that. But it's just kind of like you're taking these two big guys that could be doing something. Uh, when you could really, in my opinion, you really could just use one. I, I, I guess, but honestly, I the match I really wanted to see happen... Was uh, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, uh, uh, Goldust and Cody Rhodes and the Usos taking on the Shield and the Wyatt family because of the end of Raw two weeks ago, and but they gave it instead on Raw last week instead of putting it on the pay per view as a six on six elimination match, wait, which what? they what they gave wait they gave away the Wyatt family and the the Shield teaming up for free yes yes they <laughs> okay. Did. It, it was a great match, but... Oh, I'm sure of it, but... But they should have put that as a six-on-six six elimination tag team match at Survivor Series instead of... Yeah. ...the match that they did put there. I mean, you know, I understand they want to, you know, get as much match on the card as possible, but, you know... Whatever, bros. Well, they could have put a Ryback match instead. Yeah, and then I could have... Been wrong you know, again. Done, ...done my usual shtick. But I don't have to worry about that this pay per view. <laughs> yeah, because he's not even booked. I think he's not. They could throw a match in there. They could, but if he, but if they throw just a match in, I'm assuming that he is going to win. and You'll be happy. But yeah. at the same, but at the same time, you didn't predict him, so that would be why he wins. Because I didn't know what happened. <laughs> anyway. Well, still, you didn't predict uh, him. Therefore, meaning he wins. Oh God damn it! Not this match again. Oh no! <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Uh, you already crushed my hopes and dreams. John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship. You already crushed my hopes and dreams. I don't like this match. It was either. terrible last month. Well, you're gonna get it again. And it's gonna be worse. Yeah. Because now there's no hope of Daniel. Uh, Daniel? <laughs> Damien Sandow uh, becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe he'll somehow get involved anyway. But I doubt it. I mean, they need to book a new feud. There's no way that they're going to continue this one again. This would hopefully be the end of Del Rio's time in the world title picture. No. You literally don't know how happy I would be, though. I know you would be incredibly happy, but I just don't We've, see Last it. month, we went over who I'd rather be champion. We're not going to have to do that again. I understand that. But it's just I don't I don't think that he's going to be out of the picture. I don't, I don't think he's going to oh, win. I, I don't think he's going to win. Get him out of the picture. But I don't think he's going to be out of the picture. I can hope, can I? 
I understand you can dream. Cause you I, know, I dream of one day, one day in the near future, that Willie Mack and ACH will become the WWE Tag Team Champions named Big and Black. Well, um, that's a bit more, more of a far-fetched dream. Got a problem with neck, bro? Anyway. No, I um, know, but that's more far-fetched than I my know, dream. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I know. mean, if John Cena went again, I don't see how they continue to book Del Rio in the world title picture. No, I don't. At see least, that. at least not for a couple of months. Probably, yeah. He probably would get like moved down a little bit. I, I, I can hope. I, I know you would wish a lot of it, but um, I don't know who they'd have John Cena face next, though. Maybe Sandow. No. <laughs> I can hope, can I? <laughs> I understand they could. They hope. had a great match though when uh, Sandow cashed in Money in the Bank. Oh yeah. Well, you know. It was a great match. Sandow's good. He is, exactly. Um, not to say I that, see that they could... the Rio's horrible. But... Oh, well, I'm saying that. Charisma-wise, yes. In ring-wise, no. But I, I could care less how good he is in the I ring. know. He has no charisma or anything to excite anybody. Shh, sweetheart. Shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's Dad not. It's okay. Uh-huh. By the way, the votes for this one, 91% to 9 Wow. That might be the... People really don't want to vote for the Exactly. I, exactly. That's literally, so far, I think the worst one that I've ever seen. I, I, man. Usually, even if it's John Cena, it's usually like 11, at least like 12 or 13% for the other person. Well, at least. Not now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going with John Cena. Yeah, I'm going to go with Cena. Because at least Cena isn't as bad as Del Rio. I can put up with Cena. I can put up with Cena. I'm just anti this match. (laughs) I'm I'm anti this match, but at least Cena has had good matches. Are you saying Cena hasn't good good matches with that air? No, 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 no. I'm I'm more like great matches. I'm going through my head of like trying to remember Cena matches. Just just think of any of his matches with CM Punk, his match with Daniel Bryan, his match with RVD, his matches with Edge. Right, no, 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 of course it's matches with Wedge. Um, Those are all examples. Yeah, I, I quit match with JBL was good. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of examples right there. Now, Del Rio, tell me one good match that man's been in. Exactly. If anybody knows a good match of Del Rio's, let me know in the comments. Because I don't think you'll... Come up with one. Let and me I, watch Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk, and I'm gonna make it back to you. No, it wasn't good. It wasn't. Nope. Okay. CM Punk couldn't save that one. Well, as as CM Punk has said in many shoot interviews, he's no Jerry Lynn. All right. Next up, though. Granted, he was talking about just pain. Yes. Next. Mm-hmm. Uh, WWE Championship. Randy Orton versus Big Show. I don't. I'm going with Randy Orton. Yeah. Because I don't want to see big... It would just make sense. Honestly, what I see happening is Randy Orton defeating a whole bunch of people only for Daniel Bryan to step back up into the title picture around WrestleMania, probably, maybe possibly winning the Royal Rumble to finally get his title. If they're booking the storyline properly, that would happen. But who knows? Right. But you know, you can't, you can't that, think about it a, too... That's just a bit of fantasy booking for my part. No, I understand that. And part of it is you can also just kind of, you know, say, like, if they book it properly. Because, you know, it's kind of a weird thing. Well, you can say that. I just did. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Like, for me personally, I just I just don't want to see Big Show as champion. There's... I have no problem with Big Show. But as champion, I don't want that. Nah, like... World Heavyweight Champion, fine. But not WWE Champion. Yeah, I could deal with World Heavyweight Champion. And I, de- I definitely don't see them taking it off of Randy Orton after a month, so. No. Especially not for Big Show. No, definitely not for Big Show. The stupidest thing, though, is why Big Show would give up his possible, like, millions and millions of dollars that he could have gotten from, in storyline-wise of suing the company just for a title match that he might possibly lose. You know? 
Well, you know, from the sound of it, it seemed like he was going to have David Otunga be his lawyer. So, you know. Yeah, well, you would have loved that. Well, I would have, yeah. You would have but, loved those segments. Right, but in, in reality, would that really have helped him win the case? I don't know. Oh, I'm sure. Why wouldn't he have won the case? Because Otunga taking on, like, every single WWE lawyer. Otunga's undefeated, though. He's one man. <laughs> he... One man legal counsel. <laughs> well, maybe he needs to get another two men in there and be the three man legal counsel. No, I hate that gimmick. Oh. Speaking of three man something, we need to get the three man, uh, the three man band in here on this pay per view. Who would they face? I don't know, but they could be the fabulous three birds again. Like, no, I don't mean that yet. Uh,. But seriously, like, who would they face if, if they were... Uh, Los Matadors? Well, <sighs> They've been feuded with them. Yeah, but who would be the third? Like, El Torito? They don't, they, they, well, they, it would just be two of them. It would just be either Heath Slater and Drew McIntyre, Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal, or Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre. would probably end up being Jinder and Mahal. But or I'm Jinder and Mahal? What? Yeah, Jinder and Mahal, they're going to be... <laughs> Jinder and McIntyre, there we go. <laughs> no, Heath Slater, I'd rather... I'd, I'd love it to be Heath Slater, though. He's Slater, right. Heath Slater's great. Nah, I, I like Heath Slater. It's just kind of like, as far as like tag team wise, like the usual tag team ones, they like McIntyre and. No, they they're always switching up. Okay. You don't watch Raw, so you wouldn't know. I know. They literally always are switching up. I should stop talking. <laughs> or you should start watching every three man band match ever. I mean, you'd literally be, you'd only have to spend like three minutes a week, so. Or I should just, you know, start watching all of those uploaded copies of Raw on yeah, YouTube. Those, those two. I, I'm sorry. I'm too busy playing XCOM <laughs> well, and you... making terrible wrestling cars. <laughs> no. And by terrible, I mean amazing. No. No Ole Andersons. We don't need any more of him. They don't even know about Ole Anderson. They will at one point, eventually in the near future. Probably, because I'm very predictable. Yes, yes, and you'll. De- there's no way you won't play as him. Of course. In the, in the next match we do, you, there's no way you won't play as him. Of course. So. And if I manage to get on a new legacy stream, well, then there you go. <laughs> so I think we went through all the matches now, though. Uh, yes, as I navigated away to look at the roster page to think about who would take on the three-man band. Everybody. Like, maybe Los Matadors. Uh, maybe, uh... Not not tons of funk. Uh, not primetime players. They're kind of done. Like, when... Uh, and this is going to sound terrible. When Darren Young came out, it kind of seemed like, you know, all of a sudden, like, the primetime players were like, woo! Like, kind of pushed. Uh, not bit. really. They just got... They literally got, like, one win that week. And then after that... Nothing. Yeah, and then they kind of just fizzled out and did Yeah. It, which was weird to me. I love the primetime players, though. I, I, I love them, too. They haven't been on TV in forever. I know it. Give me, give me back from primetime. Hey, give, me, give me back my millions of dollars. I need millions of dollars and millions of dollars millions of dollars. Make it and I need my... Ooh, 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 ooh. And I need that theme song. I don't get it enough. Well, you got it in WWE 2K14. I, anyway. I don't have them dancing to it, though. Anyway. Silly. So, in the kickoff match, I have Kofi Kingston, you have The Miz. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. Uh, in the Intercontinental Championship we match. We both have Big E because nobody likes Curtis Axel, not even his own dead father. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, in the Divas v. Divas, we have the Divas. <laughs> yeah, we have the Divas. More specifically, AJ Lee's team. Uh, we're nobody s- cares about Natalia's team because Natalia s- sucks. I like Natalia. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, in the other Survivor Series traditional match... I got the uh, Shield and Real Americans. And I've got the other one. Uh, Rey Mysterio, the Rhodes Brothers, and the Usos. You see, that's the thing. I didn't want to say it because it's a big mouthful. It is. Uh, Sam Punk v. Daniel Bryan. I say it's going to be... Wait, what? <laughs> CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. There you go. The Wyatt family. You didn't say anything, so I got very confused. That, that's why I was silent, though. I, you know, <laughs> just I was just waiting for you to correct yourself. I knew you would realize it eventually. 
Look, I'm from Texas. Reading is really hard. <laughs> I'm uh, going, like like before, I'm going with CM Punk and Brian. I'm going with the Wyatt family through shenanigans. Bray Wyatt shenanigans. Bray Wyatt shenanigans. Waylon Mercy shenanigans, if you will. Uh, World Heavyweight Championship match. We both John take Cena. John Cena. Because nobody likes Del Rio. Because we're done. Well, nine percent likes Del Rio. Nine percent likes Del Rio. But me and Justin, we are done. <laughs> I've been done actually, for months. I've I've just become done. Oh, I've, you know I've been done with it for months. I I know you've been done for years, more or less. I know, Pookie. Uh, and <laughs> that was really homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> not that there's a problem with that, anyway. Not, not at all. Uh, WWE champion Randy Orton. Randy Andy Orton. Khan, Randy Orton. Ironclad. He doesn't contract. have that ironclad contract anymore. He has Dave No Talk now. Ironclad Otunga. Yeah, that's who he has. A uh, big show. I, yeah, Brandon. I'm going with Orton. Yeah, we're going with Orton. With through no shenanigans, actually. Through through no shenanigans. Because I'm pretty sure Triple H made some type of no interference. No shenanigans no, clause. Pretty much a no shenanigans clause on this match. Yeah. On Raw. Uh, I mean, as far as like random matches that could happen, I don't know. Ryback squash. Uh, there's this match. This. I'm assuming that this is probably going to be all, everything, though. Maybe one added match, but this seems like a pretty full pay-per-view. Actually, yeah. With, like, because... uh, elimination tag match and both of them. Oh, God. <laughs> then, then the actual tag match and... Justin, I just had a horrible thought. Oh, no. That Divas match is going to take forever. Well, I mean, not necessarily. It's elimination, Justin. Yeah, but you know Divas matches. They could It's literally... going to take forever! You're probably right. It'll be the first 20 plus minute no. Divas match on pay per view in ever. No. <laughs> hey, at least I'll get. A, at least I'll be able to have a match that I can go bake a snack or something or bake a snack. <laughs> yeah, put something in the the toaster to bake it. You know, how else am I supposed to? Who bakes in a toaster? <laughs> <laughs> toaster oven, maybe. Well, that's what I meant. Okay. I'll probably... Uh, or... Still, I need time to do a snack. Well, I know who bakes some toaster. I do. That's how I make my breakfast cookies. <laughs> oh, oh, old joke. And on that horrifying note... <laughs> no. I'm dead. We appreciate you joining us for more of our bloated, incomprehensible pay-per-view predictions. That's... They definitely are. I don't even know what we talked about this time. I, uh, God. we talked about something. I, I know we definitely did talk about a possible, uh, Fatal 4-Way tag team match at TLC. In a TLC match.